We didn't, didn't get to Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. You know what? We'll have plenty of time. You love that show. <laughs> I tell you what. Did you see it on Tuesday? Respectfully, I did not. Wow. Wow. I did not. <laughs> Do it I know I already get to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was, I love it. Uh, You're the biggest fan. I'd like the, to see you sitting there next to Dana, Sean Shelby, and Mick Maynard. A couple of other episodes <laughs> were not that great. The one on Tuesday was loved it. phenomenal. In, wow. in, 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 in a word or two, why do you love it so much? It's, a, it's, it's, it's the ultimate fighter minus all the bullshit. Okay. It's like wow. it's a streamlined version. You forget this, how good. You're selling me now. This is right up your alley. Okay, I'll, I'll very, very quickly. Sure. Uh, the discoveries in terms of the broadcast. Paul Felder is amazing at broadcast at is commentary. He? I did not know how good he was. Yeah. He's excellent. Number one. Number two, Laura Senko. You know, so you've done the sideline reporter thing. It's hard, and you've done a good job. She does a really good job. Yeah. So there's a broadcast there. I don't like that it's in the tough gym. It feels redundant. However. Why go through the Ultimate Fighter yeah. for all those weeks, and you have to win a tournament, and it guarantees if you win, you get the contract when you can just go and fight on the on the Dana White Tuesday Night Contender Series. Uh, and if you win, and you win in spectacular fashion, you really put it all out there, you have such a great chance. The guys fight hungry. The fights this past Tuesday were incredible. They were well matched. And the upset by Julian Marquez over Phil Hawes, incredible. Yeah. It was it's not canned, right? So it's like, it's, it's not and canned. It's, and sure. it's like... Yeah. You didn't mention Snoop. The Snoopcast is cool. Yeah. It's fine. Which do you choose to listen to? Uh, well, Felder's so good <laughs> that like I like listening to him. I just go back and listen to the highlights. But my point is, if you want to get in, get out, get fights, and you're sure. done, <laughs> the Contender Series. I, I will incredible. say this. Sean O'Malley is a superstar in the making, right? Yeah. That guy who won Sugar mm -hmm. Sean with the Snoop and the smoking yeah. weed. I mean, he's got great charisma, and he's a great fighter. I, I saw his fight. And I will also say that I think that for the fighters, it's actually good. Like, I, I will admit, it's a little unsettling when they win and they're essentially begging Dana White to save them, give me some bread. And then there's that shot, which I think is completely inappropriate of them sitting in the, the locker room and just on pins and needles and like, you're the winner, fine. But if you're a fighter, it's actually a great opportunity because if you're fighting for LFA, you're making like one and one. If you're fighting for DWTNSCS, you're Ooh, making five and five. Just say contender series. You're, okay, I'm just trying to, you're making five and five yeah. for those fights. So it's yeah. actually, if you're not in the UFC, but trying to get to the yeah. UFC, and for the company, it's brilliant because it's like, okay, here's a way to get guys under our umbrella, but not fully commit to them, take them away from Bellator. It makes sense. And plus, on top of it all, from a business standpoint for Fight Pass, it's just more live events. And I hear, I hear so the streaming numbers people. are really good. Yeah, so. yeah. So this is a good, and I think it ends end of August, at uh -huh. least this run. Uh -huh. All right, here you go. Luke Thomas, fan wow. of Tuesday Night Contenders. Tell you, Jackson, I want to see you there. Is it possible? <laughs> see you sitting there next to Dana and the guys telling them who they should sign? They know my number. <laughs> they can call me. <laughs> All right, we're out of time. Thank you so much for stopping by.